Hello goblins, ghouls, and ghosts. I'm Jesse Quinn from Cup Books, and today we're going to be talking about Carmilla by Joseph Sheridan Le Fanu. Carmilla is a gothic novella written by Joseph Sheridan Le Fanu, and it was first published in 1872. Carmilla wasn't the first piece of vampire fiction. Oh no no, there were a few other stories that predated Carmilla, but Carmilla is interesting in the fact that it does predate Dracula by 25 years, and many people speculate that Bram Stoker was actually influenced by Carmilla. From what I could gather from some reputable sources on the internet, this is not a known fact. There's no actual solid evidence that Bram Stoker ever read Carmilla, but the similarities are there. The story of Carmilla is presented as papers from the casework of Dr. Hesilius, or at least I hope that's how you say it. These papers contain the first person account of our narrator, Laura, who when she was much younger met a mysterious woman named Carmilla who came to stay at her and her father's estate in Austria. There's a lot of smaller stories and flashbacks told within the larger story of Laura and Carmilla's experiences together, and a lot of the times they're not interwoven very well. Laura definitely fits into sort of what we expect from our Victorian women. She lets sort of the men handle the spookiness, but Carmilla is a little different. Carmilla is considered a bit of an oddity by everyone at the estate, most notably because she is really independent. She makes all her own decisions. She sleeps until noon, which if that's not the sign of a dangerous woman, I don't know what is. And perhaps most notably, her relationship with Laura veers into a sort of romantic territory, which makes Laura really uncomfortable at times when she feels that Carmilla is talking to her as one would talk to a lover, a heterosexual male lover, of course. Now don't get too excited, Carmilla is not a queer work by any means. You have to understand, in Victorian literature especially, vampires represented sexual desires that are dark and dangerous. The subtext between Laura and Carmilla is really problematic because it associates queerness and desires for the same gender with a naturalness. Yeah, that's a problem. Recognizing that the subtext is really problematic, I still kind of liked Carmilla. Okay, I didn't kind of like it, I actually liked it. I actually really like Carmilla as a character. She's very independent, she's not a minion, she's not a lackey, she doesn't try to submit to the rules of the household. She does what she does and she doesn't make any excuses for it. That's really cool. There's a lot of atmosphere in this novella, which I think works in its favor. There's a slow building tension between the two women that is engaging. When I look at the history of vampire literature, I can't help but appreciate Carmilla's place in it. Earlier vampire novels, before Dracula, mostly focused on the relationships between people of the same genders. The novel that became most well known in classic vampire literature is Dracula, and it heterosexualized the genre. It's really depressing that Carmilla's only legacy is a lesbian vampire trope in popular culture today, because the lesbian vampire trope is about male fantasies. It's not about writing well-written queer women and telling their stories. No, no, no. It's about male fantasies. Perhaps the most faithful book-to-film adaptation of Carmilla is The Vampire Lovers, which was made, I believe, in the 70s, and I can describe it in two words male gaze. Oh yeah, it's bad. Now the question remains, would I recommend Carmilla? And my answer is yes, I would. I think Carmilla is a very interesting read, particularly if you're a fan of vampire literature. Currently the copyright has ran out, so you can find it on Project Gutenberg and download a free ebook version of it. This is really handy given that the novella is only about 100 pages. There's no reason to really go out and buy it if you can get it for free. Unless, of course, you're doing a review for your booktube channel and you just really wanted this cover. 